under depths of fear. You're the one that's close behind me. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's actually scary. Oh! Oh! Oh shoot! God, dude. Oh, he's got it. Oh! Oh my god! What? Here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Alright, so what we learned in the last episode is that... Well, we kind of learned it in the coming episodes, but what we know so far is that we caused some thing in um, World War One, or like some battle or something, where I caused the death of quite a bit of people and I'm supposed to be executed for it. And I can't remember if on the note it said I was supposed to get executed on the bench or no, on the ship or if I'm supposed to get executed for it during or what once I get off the ship if it's already happened or if it hasn't happened before so notice watertight doors are locked to buy time again sinking nearest controls can be found near local funnel access can't do anything with that All right, keys to a door. Oh, we got it. Don't know what that means, but... Boom! Now, tonight in our dining hall, officer's night. Oh, this is cool. Oh, well, that's great. Can I hide under here? No, I can't. Door lock codes. Um, gotta take a picture of that. And we'll keep that on standby. More door lock codes. Don't know which one to use for those, but... Looks like A deck and D deck. We're in D deck cabin, so... Door... What? Uh, okay. Door D7 is 25. Um. Oh. Caution. These halls may flood at any time. Evacuate immediately. It's 25. 20. 25. Okay. Oh. The store needs a key. There's gotta be a key in this room somewhere. What do I do? Oh god. All right, let's freaking do this. I don't know what to do. I don't know where the keys are. I <clears throat> are the keys in a room beforehand? It can't be because I get locked out, so I don't have another chance to actually like go through. Give me my matches. These are mine to use. All right. Pick up a combination lock. 25. Through here. Alright, and into here. Okay, here. Uh, uh, oh! Oh! Pick up, keys to a door. Okay, we're gonna go here. Projector slide. We're gonna go here. 
No. We're gonna go here. No. We're gonna go. Use to a door. A Webley revolver. What do we do here? Oh, okay. Is this the grand staircase? All right, we're in a lift. Wait, why are we going down? Isn't it flooding down? Wait, what's this? That's the only one. Oh god. What is that? What is that? Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. What is that? What is that? Ah! <laughs> that is scary. That is scary. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Where do I go? So I don't go that way. Oh, what? Uh, what? Okay. Oh, right here, right here. We got it, we got it. Okay, we're going through. I don't know. No rising water. Okay. Can't run. Okay. We're in the fine dining area. What the? What? Uh... Pick up and read. Craner Gay Asylum. A mission note. Patient Alexander Doctor. 1917. After the patient underwent and failed to, to attempt a second light act procedure, patient was left to, in a worsening state of uh, delirium. Delirium. Yeah, delirium. Uh, patient was escorted uh, off the sinking RMS Validus. After being found running around flooding hallways in a state of disarranged panic, delusions include visions of deceased platoon members. Patient is particularly <gasps> dangerous only when immersed in fever state of delirium. So I, I can tell I'm in the trenches now. Uh, Craner Gay Asylum 
Progress update, patient Alexander Doctor 1933. Update regarding the Great War veteran Alexander, Mr. Doctor has shown a little signs of improvement and has displayed a remarkable maintenance of, of exact illusions that have originated since 1917. It seems that every interview results in the exact same answers with all the patients sitting that remains on the, this ship every day. Patient will describe the process of which the moment he awakens in the wards to the moment he finds himself lucid in the asylum. Patient also describes the present day asylum interviews to appear in his struggles of sinking vessels to uh, in the form of recordings the patient will occasionally slip into ramblings that seem to disrupt him of his ghostly visions oh Whoa! that scared me I don't know, but I think there's someone behind me. Oh. Can I get out of here? No? Uh, dear War Office, we'd like to express our s sincere gratitude for sparing the life of our son Alexander Doctor. After his cowardly display in the front lines, we were sick with worrying regarding his fate. During these times of war and turmoil, losing our child would destroy us beyond this world. Great, always thankful, Herbert and Catherine, Doctor. Passengers not allowed beyond this point. What was that? January 1937. What's outside? I'm on a wheelchair. I was on a wheelchair in the in the beginning of the game. Is that what this is? Is that have something linked to it? Was it foreshadowing? Wait, what? I'm back on the ship. Which means that I'm hallucinating again. Right? Whoa, okay. In honor of the many souls lost in the Great of War. Wow, okay. Um. So. I don't know what the memoir is, and I'm going to look that up real quick to see what the memoir is. The Historical Soldier Alexander Doctor, Institute of the Mind, 1937. Picture here in Dallas, Scotland, 1916, patient Alexander Doctor before enlistment. Observed to be seated at a table with his father, Herbert Doctor. In retrospect, patient demonstrated early signs of discontent with his station in life. Concerning the war effort, patient exhibited no interest in fulfilling his duty, unlike other young men that willingly enlisted. Early summer 1917, patient doctor pictured by family standing in front of a recruitment station in Ballater, Scotland. Captured 
mere moments after enlisting according to personal record, hesitant and reluctant to have done so. Patient was now officially bound to head to combat. His facial expressions show us a man far away from reality, even before his fight. Perhaps a dreamer, a man away from society. Summer 1917. Patient is standing in front of a family farmhouse alongside his father. Wearing both uniform and helmet, Patient was to join troop transport the following day. Still reluctant, still unhappy to be heading to the front lines. Patient later clarified life in Scotland was no joy, but was truly heaven compared to the horrors witnessed at the front. Front lines, Messine, summer 1917. Patient is pictured here with members of his platoon. Pictured left to right, Alfred Clark, Patient Alexander Doctor, Commanding Officer Davies, and Lewis Thompson. Lewis Thompson and Davy. It j hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It just, hold on, it just showed. So it just, it showed that Davy, the guy in long, that's who was chasing me part of the time. That was like the guy at the end, I'm pretty sure. What did it just flash in my eyes? Oh, okay. So it basically told us the entire story, and I'm pretty sure to unlock it, 
let's see, select chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You'd have to get um, slides, little slide things throughout the uh, game. I don't want to spend my time on that because, I don't know, it's just easier. Since it was just a video, it did explain a lot. And, I don't know, it... <laughs> This was a very good game. It first it was Titanic horror game, freaking sick. Then it was World War II traumatic experience. That's pretty cool too. It was a very interesting game, and the the developers Rogue Games Global Entertainment and a couple others. I can't remember. I only remember Rogue, Rogue Games. Um, like, visually remember, but, keep up the good work, that was a very good game, and, I'll see you guys in the next video, um, don't know what it's gonna be, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, like, subscribe, all that stuff, see you guys, bye!